Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Janie. Today we're talking about Build-A-Bear. We have a spooky little Build-A-Bear from their Halloween collection. It's actually a vault collection item, so it has come back from its 2008 release. But first, my name is Janie. If you're new here, I do videos on all things cute, whether that's Squishmallows, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, Loungefly, Sanrio, anything cute, and it goes up on this channel. If you like that kind of thing, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe because it definitely helps me out with this annoying algorithm. So let's get started. I purchased the Pumpkin Kitty, but before that, it went up. Up, like late August online uh, this was originally released in 2008 so they're bringing it back that's what I mean when I say vault collection kind of similar to what they did last year when they had like these special releases throughout the year or like once a month twice a month so I opened the email at 9 30 and the email was set at 9 for me it's Eastern Standard Time and in that half hour it had sold out completely so I was really bummed because I wasn't sure if they were gonna bring it back or not with build bear you never know but now I'm sensing a pattern here where I feel like they do a decent number of restocks for these limited edition highly valued bears so so fast forward to September 5th which is my birthday I just happened to be on the bus headed to my local mall and I decided to check the Build-A-Bear website I had been doing that throughout the past week or two this was a random Tuesday and it was in stock I purchased it really quickly I didn't even look I should have just bought the standard but I bought a bundle with accessories which we're gonna talk about and I bought it and it went through and I was super happy and then maybe 20 minutes later Build-A-Bear posted it on their social media accounts and that's when it sold out and then it was eventually brought into stores because originally it was an online exclusive that's another thing I much prefer buying my bears in person but I never know when they're gonna stay exclusive or when they're gonna hit the stores and then I get really impatient and it's like that fear of missing out so yes in retrospect I would have waited to just get it in person because for me it ends up being cheaper because of the shipping even though I did use a reward certificate from Build-A-Bear's point system so we're gonna discuss that as well I took off her accessories and then I'm gonna put it back on so we could see them but this is the standard pumpkin kitty like I said originally released in 2008 I definitely didn't have my hands on this or was even thinking about Build-A-Bear back then but it's fun that they're bringing back these famous pieces because these are resold for so much money on Depot, on Mercari, on all of those like secondhand things, eBay. This goes for over $100 so it's nice when Build-A-Bear can bring it back and then we don't have to have that issue of having to pay so much more for a bear. So it's a light orange and then sprinkled along as the pattern of the jack-o'-lanterns on her face, on her paws. She has a nice tail. She's super soft. Her tag says limited edition vault collection collection and then of course the place to put your name if you're getting it in person this is absolutely adorable the whiskers are a little you know they're a little weirdly like shaped I'm, I'm gonna see if I can make them a little bit straighter because right now they're not she's really cute I honestly don't feel like she even needs a costume but sometimes the standard bear sells out before the costume bundles because those cost more right so this is $35 on its own the accessory that I picked up was 15 additional dollars and here's what it looks like it's a pumpkin like dress it has the shape of a pumpkin like a jack-o'-lantern it's really roundish and then it comes with a pumpkin hat uh, with a little bit of velcro to keep it in place so this could be used for any bear so like I'm kind of annoyed at myself for getting this, but also I can put this on a standard bear or any other bear that I have from the year before. So that's good. These are, you know, multi-purpose. This one just has a little bit of elastic and it just goes straight over their head with two armholes. So here's what she looks like with the pumpkin costume on. I just have to fix the little shape of it a little because this is a little bit padded to give it that round, you know, shape. And then this is her little hat. I think she's cute with or without it. I probably, like I said, would have chosen a different one. There's also a different bundle with like a little bow tie, which I think is a little bit more subtle. Not too much like orange on orange. So that was $39.50. The one I showed you total was $50. So now let's do a price breakdown. So my total, like I said, was $50. And then my discount with the reward system. If you give build bear your email, and that's the email you use when you're making purchases online and in stores, when they tell you to type in your little, you know, your little email, rank up points like that. And think for every I don't know exactly the point conversion but when you get 100 points you get a certificate and in this case it's $10 okay so for me in the US it's $10 rewards but I know for some other places it's five I believe I saw a video about that I don't know because I live in the States but if you have any experience with that let me know how it is in your country the shipping was $8.95 of course it was even though I, I will say build -A bear has been a lot better about offering free shipping and my blinds is making lines on my face they've been very good about the free shipping lately i will say that but usually when there's a new release for like a highly sought 
item, they'll take it away. And then taxes was $4.34, so that brought my total up to $53.29. And then when it was shipping, there was a bit of a miscommunication, and it ended up in a different neighborhood, and then to the Bronx, so it was weird. It happens. But yes, I think she's absolutely adorable. I'm super happy to have her, and I am almost done, almost, with my update of what my room is looking like. So I finally got a new furniture piece. Unfortunately, I already knew this was going to happen. It wasn't the solution. It wasn't as... as it, it didn't really help alleviate my stuffed animal problem. Really, what I have to do is just move to a bigger place. And that will hopefully happen next month. Not next month. Well, next year. In May. We'll see. Fingers crossed on that. <laughs> if I start saving my money properly. This is a cutie pie. I love it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're picking up any Halloween bears from Build-A-Bear. I kind of want that kitty. That bat kitty. I think it's so cute. Maybe I'll get it. You made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well out there. Fall is coming and I am so excited. It has been a very, very long summer for me. Still, stay hydrated. Wear your sunscreen. Have a great time. I'll see you later. Bye.